My name is Celeste, and I am a clouded leopard. I would like to tell you a story from when I was a young cub. My mother and I were resting in the branches of a tree, covered by the shade, cooling ourselves on a hot summer's day. Suddenly, my mom told me to be still and quiet because there were humans walking below us. When the danger had passed, I asked her why we needed to be afraid. After all, we are strong, clouded leopards. She explained to me that humans kill us for our paws, for our teeth, for our skin and our fur. She explained to me that it is something called trophies, but she couldn't explain to me why or what exactly a trophy was. She explained to me that they cut down our forests, and that is why we had to go deeper into the forest. She explained to me that they destroy the local land so that they can build their own homes. And that is why we have to move all the time. She explained to me that humans, the most dangerous animals on the earth. Obviously, I was terrified. This explains so much why we have to move so much and why any time we see those humans, I have to be as still as a stone. But the question lingered in my mind. What if something were to happen to my mother? I'm still a cub and I don't know how to survive on my own. My mother explained to me that she does not know what I would do, but that she has taught me everything that she can and that she believes in me and that I can survive on my own if I have to. I asked her mom, what if they kill you? She told me, my little one, we all come from the universe. So when you look up at the night sky and you see the stars and the moon, I'll be looking down at you and you'll be looking up at me. And just remember, anytime that you see a human, run and don't look back. I am an endangered species. It is a heartbreaking thought to know that one day one of those humans out there might be wearing my mother, be wearing her skin or her hair, and I do not understand why, and I don't believe I ever will. I wish they would stop. We are only trying to live our lives 